Hello everybody, Nick over here at Sky Dicky. We appreciate you stopping by for another one of our weekly tech videos. We're back here at my shop, and today we're actually talking about a tech tip that came up pretty recently to us, and I'm surprised that we haven't really noticed it over the years. And I think it's because of a particular combination of parts. Now what I have in front of me here is an aftermarket crankshaft. This one particularly is a manly four inch stroke. It's something I'm saving for a future project, but I wanted to show you what we found out about LT crankshafts, and more specifically, the lower timing gear. Now, if you ever look at the journals on a crankshaft, whether they be aftermarket or OEM, of course they have a little chamfer on them. It isn't a perfect 90 degree cut like the edge of a box. It actually has like a nice little curve on that cut. It adds to strength and also it's easier to machine. But the problem is, is that sometimes you put some of this stuff together you have to make sure to get special parts. Some of you guys probably have known about this. You have to get narrowed bearings for some of these aftermarket cranks because of that chamfer. If you run a full width OEM style bearing, you actually can burn the edges off of it and cause a lot of trouble. So that problem isn't particular to just the bearings. It can actually run into other issues. And this is bigger than just this. I mean, there's a lot of things we have to check when we are running, you know, aftermarket parts with OEM parts or sometimes mix and matching some of this stuff. If you run one brand with another brand, most of the time it's going to work. Sometimes though, you hear about it causing catastrophic failure. And that's what this is. If you take a stock OEM lower crank gear right here and you press it all the way on to an LT crankshaft, it either will not go on all the way, which can cause issues, or if you do try to force it in all the way, the chamfer on the inside of here does not match the bigger chamfer on an aftermarket crankshaft, and that is aftermarket crankshafts I'm talking about specifically. It can actually split one of these. Well, you can't have this split. That can cause problems, of course, with your oil pump. Remember, the oil pump's being driven off of this. Same thing with your timing chain. It could start skipping teeth. It could start breaking or falling apart, which is really the problem we've been seeing. People putting together a $15,000, $20,000, you know, badass boosted LT engine and boom, before they ever even get to tune the thing and they can't figure out why. We've had a few people that have found pictures where they were able to put this on. They pressed it what they thought was all the way on, but when they put the bouncer on, they're doing that big torque sequence to put that on. It finally pushes it on the rest of the way and splits it in half. So this is one of the things you need to keep an eye out for when working with aftermarket parts, specifically OEM blower crank gear and an aftermarket LT crank, a Gen 5 LT, of course. Now, sometimes the aftermarket has already thought of this sort of stuff. Lower timing or timing chain sets like this do have a bigger chamfer on the lower gear here. Some don't. It's another thing to look out for. So be careful when you're putting together some of these parts. We really hate to sell you guys thousands of dollars worth of parts and then months later when you finally get it together and get it tuned we're having to sell you all those parts again believe me we're in the business to make money but not like that that's not fun that's not fun for us and that's definitely not fun for you or your pocketbook or probably even your wife who doesn't want to hear about you having to build one of these twice so wanted to share that information with you make today's tech video a little bit of a quicker one but we do appreciate you guys stopping by we do these once a week so please give us a like subscribe share facebook youtube instagram all that sort of stuff to help out hot rodders like you and me and i'll see you guys next week for another tech tip maybe we'll do one about time and chains Now, if you are wanting to run one of the OEM style single chains on your LT build and you do have an aftermarket crank, what I've been holding in my hand here is actually a product from our good friends at Texas Speed and Performance. This actually does have the extra chamfer machined into the back of it. This is the same hardened billet steel that the OEM uses. And they even have a couple extra keyways ground into it so you can actually advance and retard your timing. Pretty neat. They even include a small little illustration here to kind of help you out while you're putting it together. So we do keep these in stock. Pretty cheap little piece if you guys are still running the stock upper timing gear and, or VVT gear even and a stock style single chain and are running an aftermarket crankshaft. So if you need one of these, make sure to give us a ring so we can save you guys from wrecking an engine again. Nick here at Scott and Nicky. Today I'm a, I'm a little cranky. <laughs>